for this man who has never passed. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, nice to see you. How are you? Good to see you. Well, we come over here kind of in the middle and the... Okay. Uh, we have an interview with you, uh, as you yeah. know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I'm going to write a column on another subject. I appreciate the comment from you. Uh, I'm going to do a column on the subject of victims' rights. You know, that, like the case of the, the businessman in Miami who uh, was burgled uh, endlessly and he set up a trap and the guy was shot on his side. Oh, well, that's what I mean. And, and, <laughs> and uh, the type of thing where somebody's car is stolen and they wind up having to pay. This happened to my son in California, where he winds up having to pay storage fees. Even though his car is, oh, his car is stolen. And I wondered if you had any thoughts about, uh, I'm, you know, of course we should be concerned about you know, criminal suspects and, and criminals' rights, but also about the uh, wonder about victims' rights. Well, as a matter of fact, this has been one of our uh, one of our programs here and then to uh, think of the victim and the, the victim's rights, which, just as you pointed out, seem to be ignored so many times. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, much of this, of course, is not at the federal level. This is local and state uh, ordinances and state laws and so forth. Mm -hmm. But we have urged uh, in our program of federalism to try and get more authority and autonomy back to uh, state governments where it once was. Uh, that we have urged that there be a great deal of attention given to what seems to be the deterioration of the victim's rights. Do you have anything new in mind on the subject? I, it's a tough one just to throw at you just like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, because even the examples that you gave, you can see that those, those were local, or, I mean, or uh, those were either local or state things, and I don't, uh -huh. uh, I don't see the answer as always bringing everything up to the federal level, because that's mm -hmm. just how uh, we kind of officiated the, our state's rights mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. Well, I thank you very much for that. Uh, uh, I want to ask you another thing, then are you going to miss all this? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, I have I've enjoyed it, no question about that. And uh, I'm quite sure there will be a pang or two. When, Mm -hmm. Turn to look goodbye, but the other hand, uh, I think Californians away from California have a way of being a little homesick permanently. <laughs> so uh, I think it'll turn out just fine. I thank you very much. Well, you got it. incidentally, just while you're going out there and that other thing, yes, what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Franklin Delano Roosevelt, in his first run for the office, when 1932, when he got elected president, he ran on a program of returning to states and local authorities the autonomy that had been unjustly seized by the federal government. <laughs> he also ran on a platform, I think, of cutting federal spending. By 25%. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. And the elimination of useless boards and commissions. But he didn't accomplish much in that. <laughs> it seemed to go the other way, but can't blame him for that. Thank you very much, sir. All right. Uh, members of the newest Mr. member. President. Hello there. Nice Hello there. Larry White. Larry White. Larry White. Larry White. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Sorry. He wants to get a fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very good. Right. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello there. Hello there. Nice to see you. Brian Burke. Hello there. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello there. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello there. Nice to see you. Hello there. Hello there. Jim Boland. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, we have you all move up behind the desk here for a We'll have to get a little tighter. And you'll probably have to move down. Have some of them move down this way. You want to move into the center there. Could we spread out this way? Okay. Okay. Uh, two gentlemen back, talk about the end. We'll see you.
you're, you're fine there. Yeah. Okay. Great. Well, right. Mr. President, let me say that these are the people who worked on the legislation and will put it to work. All right. In other words, we're going to spend the money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know a group of this kind here. I think I might be like Moss Hart, the playwright, many years ago in Hollywood. He was always embarrassed his friends because he, every, every time he introduced somebody with the name of Doctor, uh, Moss would immediately start telling some symptoms. That he's <laughs> <laughs> so one day he was introduced to a Doctor Jones who started in with the symptoms, and the fellow introduced him said, Moss, for heaven's sake, Doctor Jones is a doctor of economics. And Ma said, I want some stock. <laughs> <laughs> so I would fall into that category. And I can understand that. See, I think there are only three doctors of economics in the group here, <laughs> <laughs> which is four too many. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the only ethnic jokes I can take. Because my degree was in economics. <laughs> well, we very much appreciate Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Mr. President. It's a great pleasure. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. My transition back to the White House is very worthwhile and very helpful. And she's leaving us to go to California. Thank you for the privilege of the administration. Well, this is thank you for all you've done. Where are you going in California? Los Angeles. That's the right place in <laughs> That's what I'm told. I'm going to wait here tomorrow. I may see you there. I'll stand on the street corners and wave. <laughs> well, I know. Oops. Yes, a little souvenir, so you won't forget it. Thank you. I won't forget you. It's been a privilege. Well, I don't know. Thanks for everything, and I know I'm going to miss you. Oh, I'm going to All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, and good luck this evening. Thank you.